Welcome to Carlton's Math Corner. Today we're going to continue our study on slope. At this time, please make sure that you have your vocab packet, your uh, math journal, as well as something to write with. Today our target is I can find the slope from points. Now, in the last couple videos, we learned that slope is how a line moves. It is how much it rises. Um, and how much it runs. And so we looked at graphs and we picked out a couple points. And in the last video, we actually figured out the slope just by making kind of like a staircase. And we showed the rise over the run. And we also, you know, looked at how the y's, the y coordinates change versus how the x-coordinates change from one of those points to another point. And so today, we're not going to look at any graphs, but we're going to actually look at some ordered pairs of two points that are taken off of a line. And so here's our first example. We have 7, negative 2, and negative 5, negative 2. And these are two points that were taken off of a line. and I want you to notice the steps that are taken. Are they similar to what we did in the last video? I completely agree with you. Um, I do notice that there is some similarities in the fact that here we're showing the changes in the y-axis, um, and so or the y-coordinates, I should say, and then here's the changes in the x-coordinates. And so I noticed that we found the difference here. So it's negative 2 minus a negative 2. That's the other y-coordinate. And then negative 5 minus 7. And this is what we get when we, you know, solve that. Um, and if I take a calculator and I take 0 divided by negative 12, I get 0. And this is a really good example to show you. This is what a zero uh, slope looks like, like fraction-wise. A zero slope basically means that there is no rise, but there is a run. Okay, so it looks like this line is not rising, but it is running towards the negatives. And the other thing I want to point out to you is over here. You see where it says slope and then there's an M underneath. And I know many of you are like, why are we using the variable M to represent slope? I know it should be S. I totally agree with you. But I think the reason why um, mathematicians did not choose S is because S's look very similar to fives or twos. And so they wanted to choose a variable that could possibly represent slope. And I think M was chosen because slope is how a line moves. It's the movement. It's how much it's rising over its running. And so M stands for the movement, okay? And so let's look at a couple more questions, or a couple more problems. And before, like, here's what I would do. If I'm given some problems, I would right away draw a line from the y, or between the y coordinates and then between the x coordinates. Doesn't have to look beautiful, but just so that your eyes are drawn to the y's and then drawn to the x's. And then I would show my work. So I would take, first of all, the y's and subtract them. And so that would be 18 minus 3, and I'm going to underline it because that's the top. That's my rise. And then underneath, I am going to subtract the x's, negative 4 minus negative 9. And so 18 minus 3, I know, is 15. And negative 4 minus a negative 9 is 5. Okay, so we have the rise and we have the run. Now our next question is, can we leave the fraction like this? First of all, I'm okay, you know, 
you leaving it as an improper fraction. That's okay. Um, slope can be improper. However, if it can be simplified, I do want to see that it's in simplest form. And I know that this can be simplified. Um, we can divide both of them by 5, so we get 3, and then we get 1. So 3 firsts would be in simplest form, or I would be okay with you having an answer of just 3, 3 holes. Okay, so that one, that's okay as well. And so I'm going to put that one down as well. Um, and that would be our slope. How about the one below? If I, you know, draw a line between the y's, draw a line between the x's just to keep them straight, and then show my work. So on the top I would do 2 minus a negative 5, which I know is a positive 7. And then below, a uh, negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14. Well, let's move, I'm going to move this over. Negative 14, and that I know for sure is not in simplest form because I know that 7 is going to go into both of those. So if I divide 7 by 7 and negative 14 by 7, I get 1 on the top, and on the bottom I get negative 2. So my slope then is negative 1 half. What I would like you to do is I want you to try four problems for me. So each problem has two ordered pairs that were taken off lines, and then I want you to figure out the slope. So figure out the change in the y coordinates and figure out the change in the x coordinates, and then solve that and make sure that it is simplest in simplest form okay thank you so much for joining me at carlton's math corner and i look forward to meeting with you again